so the other day I picked up uh, some morels out in the fields uh, when I did that journey out into the woods to search for them and these are some of them so the first step is that we're going to cut them in half and then clean them and then put them on some paper towel so pretty simple just cut in half This one's already a piece, but I'm still going to cut it. As you can see, still some dirt in there and such. So I'm going to clean all that out and then let them dry on some paper towels. And then I'm going to go through a process of just breading them. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've uh, got them all cut up and I've washed them. I just used some. Uh, cold water, just light water on it, just to rinse them out. And as you can see, nice and cleaned out. And then just letting those dry, making sure I get most of the moisture off. In this bowl, I just got all purpose flour. In here, I've made um, an egg wash, so it's just some cold water with an egg until it's slightly yellow. And then I've got some tripura uh, batter mix right here. That's gonna be my final breading stage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip those in and I've got a pot of oil right here that's heating up. And we'll fry them up. And then when they're all done, I'll season them with some salt and pepper which I have some right here. All right, so first we want to dust them off in some flour. I'm just gonna pull that to the side. That'll help keep them a little bit dry. And last night I am just frying a piece and ate it and I'm still alive so they're good as I mentioned this is my first time eating these I had a little piece last night just to make sure that they're good and then now I'm just experimenting with some different recipes this one's just basically a simple way of battering vegetables and such you can batter chicken or whatever, but for vegetables, this works out. Okay, so that's them all dusted with the flour. Now I'm just going to dip it into the egg wash and then into my tempura. I'm just going to put that aside. That one's done. It's a very simple process. All right, so I'm just gonna finish these up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have them all battered up and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip them slowly into the oil. And this oil is at medium temperature. And we're gonna let them fry up. I'm just going to do a couple pieces at a time here. And we'll see how these turn out. As I mentioned, this is my first time trying this. So we'll see how it works out. It shouldn't take that long to fry them up. Flip them over. I want to get them until they're like golden. I'm 
It looks like they're turning out pretty good. Can't wait to eat these. So we're starting to get a little gold in here. It's looking good. And you can do all types of things with these. You can put them in salads, you can chop them up, put some vinaigrette or whatever on it. Uh, you can use different types of batters like crackers or like um, panko or such. And usually, this will go a little golden, but usually tempura is a little bit more white when it comes out. Oh, just fry them. There we go. Starting to get a little golden now. It's looking good. All right, so I'm just going to pause, and then once they're finished up, I'll come back. All right, so they're starting to get a little golden. As I mentioned, the tempura mix usually just goes like a light golden color. It doesn't really go like really bright yellow. You can see little edges are getting crispy and such. It's looking good. They're nice and crispy, I can tell just by poking them right now. I would say that these are done. So I'm just going to pull these out and then I'm going to cook the rest of them. And then when I'm uh, got them all cooked up, then I'll come right back. Okay, so here we are. They're all finished up. I'm just pulling them off and placing them onto a paper towel here. Napkin just to uh, get rid of the oil off of them. I'm going to turn off the oil, take that off the heat. All right, so I'm just going to move the camera over here. Those didn't turn out that bad. Look good. So I'm gonna try one. Mmm, that's pretty good. Needs a little bit of salt and pepper, I think. So we'll just throw a little bit on. So that was, this is the, the head part. The stems are just as good. So this is a stem. Mmm, very tasty. These are really good. Compared to like a white button mushroom, I find these have like a stronger taste when they're fried up but really good so i'm definitely every time i get a possibility of a chance of getting more of these out in the wild i'm gonna grab these and eat them really good so i hope you like this video uh please subscribe uh if you have any comments list them down below if you have some recipes list those if you feel like it if you have links to uh other recipes that you've done on youtube throw those in as well um have a great day have a great week and take care.